I'd like to welcome everybody back to the channel at Boo's Sneaker Review 8. Tonight I'm going to be doing a review of so far all the LeBron 21s that have been released up until now. Someone had asked for it on my page so I'm going to just do a quick review. Not really a review, just show you all of the ones that have come out so far. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe at Boo's Sneaker Review 8 and hit that like button below. So we're going to go back to the very first one. If you all remember, this is the Akoya. It started out very first, like last year, with the basically an off-white shoe. I know you guys remember the last year LeBron 20 was a white shoe. But this was the very first LeBron 21, the Akoya. Pretty standard. It's kind of an off-white. I'm not gonna really go in order. I'm just gonna do them. Um, and then this was my favorite. This was the LeBron 21 Freshwater. I think that's what they called it. This was the purple one. This is the one I like a lot. I actually bought two pairs of these. One to wear, one to keep. These have, and every one of these have all been different materials as we've gone through in all the videos. This is more of a suede, whereas this one felt more of a leather material. This is the purple freshwater LeBron 21. That's the first one, the Akoya. Then let's do the, let's do this one. This one was the most controversial, I think, the Dragon Pearl, because this one we had a lot of I mean, everyone liked the way it looked, but we had a lot of issues about what was this shoe, the material of the shoe. And I'm pretty sure it's like a patent leather. I mean, it looks amazing, but as you can tell, it's more of a glossy material, patent leather type. This is the LeBron 21 Dragon Pearl. So far, all three of these shoes, all three have been different materials. So let's move that one there. And then we've got the black, I think this was the Tahitian. This one was pretty nice too. If you just wanted a simple black shoe. I think this one felt mostly like the Dragon Pearl as far as the material, but it really wasn't. Nothing felt like the Dragon Pearl as far as that leather. But this is the Tahitian shoe. See, it had green and black. It was a really sharp shoe of the LeBron 21s. And then this one was, I think, pretty much my absolute favorite of all of them. This was my number one one, the Abalone Pearl. The shoe is just pops. It's amazing. Everything about this shoe is just the looks, everything, the colors. This was my favorite one. What do you guys think? Yep. And then, as you know, we just did this shoe. This was that, this was the very latest one that just came out. The very last LeBron 21 with the pearlescent white. And it's a lot different from the first white one, as you can see so many out right now you can tell the difference one's a very pretty off-white pearlescent shiny where the other ones basically I mean it's like a it's just it's not the same white you can tell if you had them so let's try to line these up so far you've got six LeBron 21s that have dropped. Out of all of these, which one is your guys' favorites? To me, my favorite one, I'm gonna list these in the, my favorite. You guys' will differ. My favorite one is the Avalonia Pearl, as my favorite one is number one. Absolutely. I just like the colorway and the material. And my second favorite one is the Freshwater purple one because I, I like this material the most of all the shoes 
it's it's like a suede material that was number two for me and then number three and these are this is tough I would have to say I hate doing this because I'm not a big white colored shoe person but when I saw this this was my third favorite shoe I really like this because of the pearlescent white I'm gonna say this was number three for me the latest LeBron and then I'm just gonna have to go with the Dragon Pro because it just the way it looks everything about it it just was so sharp looking and then this would be my fifth favorite one just because it's all black and then my least favorite one was the very first one that just came that came out first because it's just a, basically a white shoe which is fine there's nothing wrong with it i just it was not my favorite so this one one i like the most one and then two and i really like this one because of the material it's just it's the most normal one i think of all the shoes it's just a suede shoe i can describe it the most it's the most comfortable to me and then three And then the Dragon Pearl 4. It looks wise, I love it. Comfort wise, it's not my favorite. I have to admit, it's kind of stiff, but I love the way it looks. And then five, it looks really good. It's just a black shoe with the green. It goes with everything. And then this was my sixth of all of them. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below of all the LeBron 21 so far that have been released. How do you guys rank them one to six? What's your favorite one? What's your least favorite one? What do you think in the comments? And I just wanna tell you, I just ordered the, there's a new Puma that just came out. It's called the Chinese New Year. You guys wanna want check it out. Lamella Ball's released another shoe. It kinda of reminds me of the Golden Child, except it's not all leather. It's more of those colors, but with more, um, more like suede material and not not all leathers like and like the golden child was but it's it came out today on the puma site it's called chinese new year it's a really sharp shoe that'll be the next shoe i review next from puma it's really good looking so go check it out and tell me what you guys think of this review comment below and please 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 subscribe at booze sneaker review 8 thank you